Today, Tara and I are out on location at the new home of a first time home buyer, a client of ours. Yes, we are. And these are my favorite days, Rob. And the most exciting part about this particular buyer is she is the daughter of one of our past clients. Yeah, that's just terrific. Yeah. So she closed today. This is her brand new home. Yep. And we couldn't be more thrilled for her. Congratulations, Holly. And we also wanted to take this opportunity to give people an update on the market. Obviously, it's been crazy over the last few days with the biggest news coming over the weekend, well, besides the coronavirus, right. uh, the Fed's dropping their rates. What does that mean for mortgage buyers? Well, first of all, Rob, this was a significant rate cut. It was 100 basis points, which is, um, you know, a big deal. And so what that means is that it lowered the rate in which banks borrow money from the Fed window. That is going to impact things like a home equity line of credit, an auto loan, and business loans. However, there's a lot of confusion. That does not directly impact long-term interest rates in any way. Long-term interest rates are based on mortgage-backed security bonds. And so last week, we actually had a sell-off in bonds that caused rates to go up, whereas the week before, they had gone down. And so there's a tremendous amount of volatility, and we we do anticipate that all of the activity of the Fed stimulus, which includes some quantitative easing, is going to help keep interest rates low, but you need to reach out and get get real-time information, and we'd be happy to be a resource. And what does quantitative easing mean? That's a great question, Rob. So it's where the Fed's purchase, they become a buyer, mm. like you and I in our 401ks, of these bonds. Bonds are essentially just a package of loans all bundled together to become a retirement vehicle. So if you have a 401k or an IRA, it's likely that you have mortgage-backed security bonds in your retirement account. Right. The long end of the short of it is that we don't really know, but if you're between 3% and 4%, you're still in a great uh, you position. You are in you? a great position. And if you have questions about a refinance to figure out if that's something that makes sense to you, please feel free to reach out. But if you're a buyer, the, the, the whole point of this is to let you know it's still a great time to buy. Yeah, and I think if anything, uh, we're gonna see uh, easing off from cash buyers buying homes because yeah. they do rely on Wall Street for the liquidity to purchase property. So people who are uh, who need a loan to buy houses, um, you know, that could be a great time for them. Less competition. Sure, sure. But we're not seeing any kind of let up, I think, in the buying because we're just, our inventory is at historic lows, 55% uh, below what, what below it should normal. be, yeah. right. Yeah, in a balanced market, yeah, for sure. Yeah, exactly. So uh, again, it's a great time to buy and we can certainly help you in, in that endeavor. Yeah, if you have any questions or concerns, Rob and I are always happy to be a resource. Otherwise, you guys stay safe out there. Thank you.